Hi, welcome to Quarter Room 6130. Today we're going to talk about the Crestron, the audio, video, and the visual aids that are available in this courtroom. So everyone is aware that this is the courtroom here. Uh, we do have a 55-inch TV on the wall, as well as in the jury box there are monitors for every two jurors on each defendant and prosecution stand. There are also monitors for confidence for everybody to see and view. Um, we have here a document camera inside this rack here at your knees. We also have a DVD VHS combo, a cassette deck, as well as a laptop interface at this table. There is also laptop connectivity at defense and counsel uh, tables. Everything is controlled either from the podium or from the judge's uh, desk up here. Um, each, each stand, witness, prosecution, counsel, um, as well as up here at the podium, has a microphone. Uh, those microphones are tied to overhead speakers overhead, so you may speak clearly into them. You may also press and hold to mute the mic if you needed to make a comment off the record. Here on this touch panel, we can see that the system is currently off. The system will be enabled by the judge residing in the courtroom before court starts. So we will simply go up here and enable the system. Once the system is enabled from the judge's location, we have multiple uh, selections that we can make for presenting evidence in the courtroom. We can use the document camera, which is here, that is currently on. We can use the lectern here for PC input. We can use the DVD VHS combo that is currently inside this rack. You may also use the plaintiff or defendant one or two to present locally uh, to the monitor, to the judge, and also to the jury. So we'll go through each one individually. The first one is the document camera. When it is selected, the document camera input is selected on and it is shown on the screen behind the witness. Um, any, this is good for anything that you have that you need to present electronically, that you don't have hard copies to pass out for everyone uh, to be submitted. Uh, the next one is our lectern input. That is for a PC. Currently, your only input device at this location is a VGA. So you will take your laptop that you have the cable that is currently located on this table or at defense prosecution uh, tables and you will simply plug that in to your adapter or to your laptop itself. There is audio available too if you need that. You should hear the sync from your PC. Once that syncs to the system you will see my screen. Uh, currently right now I am using uh, second monitor output, so anything that I would want to show or put up there could simply be previewed first here on my monitor and then I could extend that over to share with everybody else. Um, that is going to be a preference on your personal computer yourself of whether you're duplicating your screen or creating a secondary screen. It will work either way in this location. Uh, I can also take this laptop if I am presenting from one of the council tables. There are three other VGA connections with audio at these tables, Defense 1, Defense 2, and Prosecution. Our next input is the DVD VCR combo. That is currently located in this rack here at your knees. There is a remote for operation of that device if you do not want to use the front panel of it simply select the DVD VCR on the panel and then you will operate it either from the front panel or from the remote by ejecting either the VHS, putting the VHS in or using the DVD. Our last three inputs that are shown on this panel here are plaintiff, defendant one, and defendant two. Again, those are PC inputs that are currently located at each council table throughout the courtroom. It is important to note that anything that is put through this system 
is shown on the reference monitors at each location, as well as behind the witness, and on the judge's monitor um, up front for his personal viewing. So we can take a look at some of those. I'll put one up and we'll show you the annotation monitors at each location, as well as the judges and the juries. All right, we're currently at the plaintiff uh, stand now. Uh, we're going to show you how to use this computer interface with the monitors that are located here. I have selected plaintiff on the panel at the lectern. I'm simply going to make my connection here to my laptop. We see my screen change resolutions, and we now see here on our local monitor uh, the image that I am projecting right now. So, right now we are sharing our screen. It is also on the judge's monitor. If you were to look there, it is also behind the witness, and it is also on all of the monitors in the jury box. From this, the witness, the defense, or the plaintiff can annotate on this document that's currently being shown. So, if this was a photo, and we needed to ask the witness what was in this photo, what they saw, or what they were pointing out relevant to the trial, uh, they could simply take and select a color or so, and they could make marks on the actual document that you're presenting to show what it is that you were talking about or maybe who it is in the crowd that they were looking for. Um, by simply touching the top left hand corner you can see it changes the color in the bottom right hand corner. That is the color of what you are going to use to draw on the photo. So I did white but if I wanted pink I certainly could use it. Uh, this will also show the annotation on every screen around the courtroom that's currently showing it. We can clear all, we can erase the last line we made, and we can go about it. So each one of these monitors is located Defense 1, Defense 2, Plaintiff, and Witness. The other monitors in the courtroom are simply just monitors for view. All right, here we are on that same picture that we were just looking at from the plaintiff's table. As you can see, we're now sitting in the jury box. Um, every two jurors have a monitor to share. So 11 and 12 share one here, 10 and 9, 8 and 7. You can see these are simply just reference monitors. Uh, these cannot be drawn on. The jury has no business doing so. Uh, these are for the witness or the plaintiffs or the defense anytime that they need to circle something or make a note on a document or a photo uh, the jury and the judge are both aware of what is being pointed out. Alright, to wrap everything up we're at 6130. Uh, we have gone over the document camera, we've gone over the DVD VCR combo, we've also gone over the four different inputs that you can use to share PC, photos, documents, things of that nature. Um, remember that there are annotation screens at Defense 1, Defense 2, Plaintiff, and Witness Stand. The jury box just has confidence monitors. The judge has a monitor built into his panel up front, as well as the monitor that's in reference for the entire court behind the witness. Uh, we will ask that inside this cabinet here, uh, the only things that you play in touch with are the DVD VCR combo, uh, and or the cassette tech if you have something to play in there. Please do not touch the device that's in the top, which is the Crestron device, and do not touch the bottom one. The bottom one is operated by the system and will change periodically based on the input you have. The top device, should you not see something on the screen, should always be set to route and the number two. There are red lights there to designate route is selected and number two is selected. If, if that is not the case uh, and someone has touched it previous to you, go ahead and reset it to that and everything should display as normal. If you have any further questions, you can contact the uh, trial court administrator.